concentration is key. Because each beat must be precise. Each hit to the drum aimed to just the right spot. And each one of these kids has only one week to learn three brand new instruments from around the world. Can we do that again? Everyone Bonnie Soon has been taiko drumming for 25 years all over the world. Literally translated, taiko simply means big drum in Japanese. It's been an instrument that's been in the Japanese culture for over 2,000 years. Two, three, four, two, two, cheer, go. Yet, taiko drumming as an ensemble art form, it really only developed after the Second World War when taiko drumming became an activity that helped many people to regain a sense of pride in Japanese heritage and culture. This week, Bonnie is teaching taiko to kids at the Arrington World Music Youth Camp. Taiko drumming is like martial arts drumming. You have to use your whole body to hit the drums. And so if you've studied athletically, dance, or any martial art, you will probably find that the physical part of taiko drumming is you know, maybe a bit more natural. We combine that with drumsticking techniques. The drumsticks are called bocce and must hit the drum very precisely. It looks very easy, but it is not very easy. It is very, very, very hard. I think the most challenging part of the taiko drumming is hitting it properly in the right spot. Miranda's at the Arrington World Youth Music Camp for the fourth time. There's more to music than what is played on the radio, right? And what is played in North America. So, but at home, we play a lot of world music, a lot of African, and, you know, just music from other places, Middle Eastern music. So she's, you know, she's developed an ear for, for that kind of thing. And she's always like banging on a drum. Along with the taiko drum, students at the Arrington World Music Youth Camp will leave with an understanding of the penny whistle as well. Some people associate the penny whistle with the theme song from the Titanic. And it's very haunting. It has those, it has those typical things that penny whistles do where you slide into the note and, and it's, that's the thing I love about the penny whistle is that it is a really simple instrument. It's just six holes and a plastic mouthpiece and you can do all these beautiful, gorgeous, soulful things with it. Historically, while this instrument was being played on the street for coins, a penny would be thrown to the musician. Hopefully they see the connections between the music that they're learning to play and the music that they're more familiar with. So for example, um, a lot of people know uh, that uh, rock and roll is basically um, a collaborative um, combination of uh, Celtic uh, folk music and African rhythm. But the lessons that come with playing new instruments go beyond physically playing and hearing the sounds. Anyone who tries taiko, it challenges your brain to grow. So I think it's just a great activity for health, mental, spiritual, and physical. Anytime you learn a new instrument, whether it's your first one or your fourth one, you're going to activate a different part of your brain, gain a new tradition to follow, and uh, appreciate a kind of music that you might not have thought about appreciating before. It's wonderful to see them developing uh, their confidence and their ability to play and share what they've learned from the artists. When I see maybe a withdrawn or quiet person study with me, and by the end of it, they have opened up their chest and they're very courageous and they're not shy at all about speaking through the drum to everyone in the room, it makes me want to cry. Because I know that they've broken through something that they didn't have when they walked in. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Fiona Shedden.